Integrated Services for Digital Network is a set of communication standards for simultaneous digital transmission of voice, video, data, and other network services over the traditional circuits of the public switch telephone network. It was first defined in 1988 in the CCITT Red Book. Prior to ISDN, the telephone system was viewed as a way to transport voice, with some special services available for data. The key feature of ISDN is that it integrates speech and data on the same lines, adding features that were not available in the classic telephone system. There are several kinds of access interfaces to ISDN defined as basic rate interface, primary rate interface, narrow band ISDN, and broad band ISDN. ISDN is a circuit switch telephone network system, which also provides access to packet switch networks, designed to allow digital transmission of voice and data over ordinary telephone copper wires, resulting in potentially better voice quality than an analog phone can provide. It offers circuit switched connections, and packet switched connections, in increments of 64 kilobit s. A major market application for ISDN in some countries is Internet access, where ISDN typically provides a maximum of 128 kbits in both upstream and downstream directions. Channel bonding can achieve a greater data rate. Typically the ISDN B channels of 3 or 4 BRIs are bonded. ISDN should not be mistaken for its use with a specific protocol, such as Q931 whereas ISDN is employed as the network, data link and physical layers in the context of the OSI model. In a broad sense ISDN can be considered a suite of digital services existing on layers 1, 2, and 3 of the OSI model. ISDN is designed to provide access to voice and data services simultaneously. However, common use reduced ISDN to be limited to Q931 and related protocols, which are a set of protocols for establishing and breaking circuit switched connections, and for advanced calling features for the user. They were introduced in 1986. In a video conference, ISDN provides simultaneous voice, video, and text transmission between individual desktop video conferencing systems and group video conferencing systems. ISDN Elements Integrated services refers to ISDN's ability to deliver at minimum two simultaneous connections, in any combination of data, voice, video, and fax, over a single line. Multiple devices can be attached to the line, and used as needed. That means an ISDN line can take care of most people's complete communications needs at a much higher transmission rate, without forcing the purchase of multiple analog phone lines. It also refers to integrated switching and transmission in that telephone switching and carrier wave transmission are integrated rather than separate as in earlier technology. Basic Rate Interface the entry-level interface to ISDN is the basic S rate interface, a 128 kbits service delivered over a pair of standard telephone copper wires. The 144 kbits payload rate is broken down into two 64 kbits bearer channels and one 16 kbits signaling channel. This is sometimes referred to as 2B plus D. The interface specifies the following network interfaces. The U interface is a two-wire interface between the exchange and a network terminating unit, which is usually the demarcation point in non-North American networks. The T interface is a serial interface between a computing device and a terminal adapter, which is the digital equivalent of a modem. The S interface is a four-wire bus that ISDN consumer devices plug into. The S and T reference points are commonly implemented as a single interface labeled ST on a network termination 1. The R interface defines the point between a non-ISDN device and a terminal adapter which provides translation to and from such a device. BRI ISDN is very popular in Europe but is much less common in North America. It is also common in Japan or Euro, where it is known as INS64. Primary Rate Interface the other ISDN access available is the primary rate interface, which is carried over an E1 in most parts of the world. An E1 is 30B channels of 64 kbits, 1D channel of 64 kbits and a timing and alarm channel of 64 kbits. 
In North America PRI service is delivered on one or more T1 carriers of 1544 KBITS. A PRI has 23 B channels and 1 D channel for signaling. Interchangeably but incorrectly, a PRI is referred to as T1 because it uses the T1 carrier format. A true T1 uses 24 channels of 64 KBITS of in-band signaling. Each channel uses 56 kilobytes for data and voice and 8 kilobytes for signaling and messaging. PRI uses out-of-band signaling which provides the 23B channels with clear 64 kilobytes for voice and data and 164 kilobytes D channel for signaling and messaging. In North America, non-facility associated signaling allows two or more PRIs to be controlled by a single D channel, and is sometimes called 23B plus D plus and 24B. D channel backup allows for a second D channel in case the primary fails. NFAS is commonly used on a T3. PRI ISDN is popular throughout the world, especially for connecting PBXs to PSTN. While the North American PSTN can use PRI or analog T1 format from PBX to PBX, the POTS or PRI can be delivered to a business or residence. North American PSTN can connect from PBX to PBX via analog T1, T3, PRI, OC3, etc. Even though many network professionals use the term ISDN to refer to the lower bandwidth BRI circuit, in North America BRI is relatively uncommon whilst PRI circuits serving PBX is a commonplace. Bearer channels the bearer channel is a standard 64 KBITS voice channel of 8 bits sampled at 8 kHz with G711 encoding. B channels can also be used to carry data, since they are nothing more than digital channels. Each one of these channels is known as a DSO. Most B channels can carry a 64 KBITS signal, but some were limited to 56K because they traveled over a BS lines. This was commonplace in the 20th century, but has since become less so. Signaling channel The signaling channel uses Q931 for signaling with the other side of the link. X25 X25 can be carried over the B or D channels of a BRI line, and over the B channels of a PRI line. X25 over the D channel is used at many point of sale terminals because it eliminates the modem setup and because it connects to the central system over a B channel, thereby eliminating the need for modems and making much better use of the central system's telephone lines. X25 was also part of an ISDN protocol called Always on Dynamic ISDN, or AOD. This allowed a user to have a constant multi-link PPP connection to the Internet over X25 on the D channel, and brought up one or two B channels as needed. Frame Relay In theory, Frame relay can operate over the D channel of BRIs and PRIs, but it is seldom, if ever, used. Consumer and industry perspectives There is a second viewpoint, that of the telephone industry, where ISDN is a core technology. A telephone network can be thought of as a collection of wires strung between switching systems. The common electrical specification for the signals on these wires is T1 or E1. Between telephone company switches, the signaling is performed via SS7. Normally, a PBX is connected via a T1 with robbed bit signaling to indicate on hook or off hook conditions and MF and ETMF tones to encode the destination number. ISDN is much better because messages can be sent much more quickly than by trying to encode numbers as long tone sequences. This results in faster call setup times. Also, a greater number of features are available and fraud is reduced. ISDN is also used as a smart network technology intended to add new services to the public switch telephone network by giving users direct access to end-to-end -end circuit switch digital services and as a backup or fail-safe circuit solution for critical use data circuits. ISDN and Broadcast Industry ISDN is used heavily by the broadcast industry as a reliable way of switching low latency, high quality, long distance audio circuits. In conjunction with an appropriate codec using MPEG or various manufacturers' proprietary algorithms, 
an ISDN BRI can be used to send stereo bidirectional audio coded at 128 kbits with 20 HZA a Euro 20 a kilohertz audio bandwidth, although commonly the G722 algorithm is used with a single 64 kbits B channel to send much lower latency mono audio at the expense of audio quality. Where very high quality audio is required multiple ISDN BRIs can be used in parallel to provide a higher bandwidth circuit switched connection. BBC Radio 3 commonly makes use of three ISDN BRIs to carry 320 kbits audio stream for live outside broadcasts. ISDN BRI services are used to link remote studios, sports grounds and outside broadcasts into the main broadcast studio. ISDN via satellite is used by field reporters around the world. It is also common to use ISDN for the return audio links to remote satellite broadcast vehicles. In many countries, such as the UK and Australia, ISDN has displaced the older technology of equalized analog landlines, with these circuits being phased out by telecommunications providers. IP-based streaming codecs are starting to gain a foothold in the broadcast sector using broadband internet to connect remote studios. However, reliability and latency is crucially important for broadcasters and the quality of service offered by ISDN has not yet been matched by packet-switched alternatives. Countries, United States and Canada, ISDN BRI never gained popularity as a general-use telephone access technology in Canada and the US, and remains a niche product. The service was seen as a solution in search of a problem, and the extensive array of options and features were difficult for customers to understand and use. ISDN has long been known by derogatory backronyms highlighting these issues, such as it still does nothing, innovation subscribers don't need, and I still don't know. Once the concept of broadband internet access came to be associated with data rates incoming to the customer at 256 kbits or more, and alternatives like ADSL grew in popularity, the consumer market for BRI did not develop. Its only remaining advantage is that while ADSL has a functional distance limitation and can use ADSL loop extenders, BRI has a greater limit and can use repeaters. As such, BRI may be acceptable for customers who are too remote for ADSL. Widespread use of BRI is further stymied by some small North American CLEC such as Century Tel having given up on it and not providing Internet access using it. However, AT&T in most states will still install an ISDN BRI line anywhere a normal analog line can be placed and the monthly charge is roughly $55. ISDN BRI is currently primarily used in industries with specialized and very specific needs. High-end video conferencing hardware made by companies such as Sony, Polycom, Tandberg, and LifeSize via the LifeSize networker can bond up to 8B channels together to provide digital, circuit-switched video connections to almost anywhere in the world. This is very expensive, and is being replaced by IP-based conferencing, but where cost concern is less of an issue than predictable quality and where a coS-enabled IP does not exist, BRI is the preferred choice. Most modern non-VO IP PBXs use ISDN PRI circuits. These are connected via T1 lines with the central office switch, replacing older analog two-way and direct inward dialing trunks. PRI is capable of delivering calling line identification in both directions so that the telephone number of an extension, rather than a company's main number, can be sent. It is still commonly used in recording studios when a voiceover actor is in one studio, but the director and producer are in a studio at another location. The ISDN protocol delivers channelized, not over the internet service, powerful call setup and routing features, faster setup and tear down, superior audio fidelity as compared to POTS, lower delay and, at higher densities, lower cost. In 2013, Verizon announced it would no longer take orders for ISDN service in the northeastern United States. India, Parat Sanchar Nigam Limited, Reliance Communications and Bharti Airtel are the largest communication service providers, and offer both ISDN BRI and PRI services across the country. 
Reliance Communications and Bharti Airtel uses the DLC technology for providing these services. With the introduction of broadband technology, the load on bandwidth is being absorbed by ADSL ISDN continues to be an important backup network for point-to-point -point lease line customers such as banks, ESEGA centers, Life Insurance Corporation of India, and SBI ATMs. Japan, on April 19, 1988, Japanese telecommunications company NTT began offering nationwide ISDN services trademarked INS Net 64 and INS Net 1500, a fruition of NTT's independent research and trial from the 1970s of what it referred to the INS. Previously, on April 1985, Japanese digital telephone exchange hardware made by Fujitsu was used to experimentally deploy the world's first I interface ISDN. The I interface, unlike the older and incompatible Y interface, is what modern ISDN services use today. Since 2000, NTT's ISDN offering have been known as FLET's ISDN, incorporating the FLET's brand that NTT uses for all of its ISP offerings. In Japan, the number of ISDN subscribers dwindled as alternative technologies such as ADSL, cable internet access, and fiber to the home gained greater popularity. On November 2, 2010, NTT announced plans to migrate their backend from PSTN to the IP network from around 2020 to around 2025. For this migration, ISDN services will be retired, and fiber optic services are recommended as an alternative. United Kingdom, in the United Kingdom, British Telecom provides ISDN 2E as well as ISDN 30. Until April 2006, they also offered services named Home Highway and Business Highway, which were BRI ISDN based services that offered integrated analog connectivity as well as ISDN. Later versions of the highway products also included built in universal serial bus sockets for direct computer access. Home Highway was bought by many home users, usually for Internet connection, although not as fast as ADSL, because it was available before ADSL and in places where ADSL does not reach. France France Telecom offers ISDN services under their product name Numeris, of which a professional duo and Homer 2 version is available. ISDN is generally known as RNIS in France and has widespread availability. The introduction of ADSL is reducing ISDN use for data transfer and Internet access, although it is still common in more rural and outlying areas, and for applications such as business voice and point-of-sale terminals. Germany In Germany, ISDN is very popular with an installed base of 25 million channels. Due to the success of ISDN, the number of installed analog lines is decreasing. Deutsche Telekom offers both BRI and PRI. Competing phone companies often offer ISDN only and no analog lines. However, these operators generally offer free hardware that also allows the use of POTS equipment, such as NTBAs with integrated terminal adapters. Because of the widespread availability of ADSL services, ISDN is today primarily used for voice and fax traffic but is still very popular thanks to the pricing policy of German telecommunication providers. Today ISDN and ADSL VDSL are often bundled on the same line, mainly because the combination of ADSL with an analog line has no cost advantage over a combined ISDN ADSL line. Some German operators started to implement next-generation networking, generally realized via DSL and unbundled local loop. However, a few operators offer the same services via the cable television infrastructure or, in selected areas, via FTTH. Because of the popularity of ISDN, virtually all these telecommunication providers bundle their products with residential gateways that include both integrated analog telephony adapters and ISDN NGN adapters. Greece, OTE, the incumbent telecommunications operator, offers ISDN BRI services in Greece. Following the launch of ADSL in 2003, the importance of ISDN for data transfer began to decrease and is today limited to niche business applications with point-to-point -point requirements. International deployment, 
A study of the German Department of Science shows the following spread of ISDN channels per 1,000 inhabitants in the year 2005, Norway 401, Denmark 339, Germany 333, Switzerland 331, Japan 240, UK 160, Finland 160, Sweden 135, Italy 105, France 85, Spain 58. United States 47, configurations, in ISDN, there are two types of channels, B and EB channels are used for data, and D channels are intended for signaling and control. There are two ISDN implementations. Basic Rate Interface, also called Basic Rate Accessor Euro consists of two B channels, each with bandwidth of 64 kbits, and one D channel with a bandwidth of 16 kbits. Together these three channels can be designated as 2B plus D. Primary Rate Interface, also called Primary Rate Access in European Euro contains a greater number of B channels and a D channel with a bandwidth of 64 kbits. The number of B channels for PRI varies according to the nation, in North America and Japan it is 23B plus 1D, with an aggregate bit rate of 1.544 Mbit S. In Europe, India and Australia it is 30B plus 1D, with an aggregate bit rate of 2.048 Mbit S. Broadband Integrated Services Digital Network is another ISDN implementation and it is able to manage different types of services at the same time. It is primarily used within network backbones and employs ATM. Another alternative ISDN configuration can be used in which the B channels of an ISDN BRI line are bonded to provide a total duplex bandwidth of 128 kbits. This precludes use of the line for voice calls while the internet connection is in use. The B channels of several BRIs can be bonded, a typical use is a 384k video conferencing channel. Using bipolar with 80 substitution encoding technique, Call data is transmitted over the data channels, with the signaling channels used for call setup and management. Once a call is set up, there is a simple 64 kbits synchronous bidirectional data channel between the end parties, lasting until the call is terminated. There can be as many calls as there are bearer channels, to the same or different end points. Bearer channels may also be multiplexed into what may be considered single, higher bandwidth channels via a process called B-channel bonding, or via use of multi-link PPP bundling, or by using an HO, H11, or H12 channel on a PRI. The D-channel can also be used for sending and receiving X25 data packets, and connection to X25 packet network, this is specified in X31. In practice, X31 was only commercially implemented in UK, France and Japan. Reference points, a set of reference points are defined in the ISDN standard to refer to certain points between the telco and the end user ISDN equipment. RA Euro defines the point between a non-ISDN terminal equipment to device and a terminal adapter which provides translation to and from such a device. ZA Euro defines the point between the ISDN terminal equipment 1 or TA and a network termination type 2 device. TA Euro defines the point between the NT2 and network termination 1 devices. Most NT1 devices can perform the functions of the NT2 as well, and so the S and T reference points are generally collapsed into the ST reference point. In North America, the NT1 device is considered customer premises equipment and must be maintained by the customer, thus, the U interface is provided to the customer. In other locations, the NT1 device is maintained by the telco, and the ST interface is provided to the customer. In India, service providers provide U interface and an NT1 may be supplied by service provider as part of service offering. Types of communications, among the kinds of data that can be moved over the 64 kbits channels are pulse code modulated voice calls, providing access to the traditional voice PSTN. This information can be passed between the network and the user endpoint at call setup time. In North America, ISDN is now used mostly as an alternative to analog connections, most commonly for Internet access. Some of the services envisioned as being delivered over ISDN are now delivered over the Internet instead. 
in Europe, and in Germany in particular, ISDN has been successfully marketed as a phone with features, as opposed to a POTS phone with few or no features. Meanwhile, features that were first available with ISDN are now commonly available for ordinary analog phones as well, eliminating this advantage of ISDN. Another advantage of ISDN was the possibility of multiple simultaneous calls, for example for big families, but with the increased popularity and reduced prices of mobile telephony this has become less interesting as well, making ISDN unappealing to the private customer. However, ISDN is typically more reliable than POTS, and has a significantly faster call setup time compared with POTS, and IP connections over ISDN typically have some 30 a euro 35 milliseconds round trip time, as opposed to 120 a euro 180 milliseconds over 56k or V34 per volt 92 modems, making ISDN more reliable and more efficient for telecommuters. Where an analog connection requires a modem, an ISDN connection requires a terminal adapter. The function of an ISDN terminal adapter is often delivered in the form of a PC card with an ST interface, and single chip solutions seem to exist, considering the plethora of combined ISDN and ADSL routers. ISDN is commonly used in radio broadcasting. Since ISDN provides a high quality connection, this assists in delivering good quality audio for transmission in radio. Most radio studios are equipped with ISDN lines as their main form of communication with other studios or standard phone lines. Equipment made by companies such as Telos Omnia, Comrex, T-Line and others are used regularly by radio broadcasters. Almost all live sports broadcasts on radio are backhauled to their main studios via ISDN connections. Sample call the following is an example of a primary rate ISDN call showing the Q921 slash LAPD and the Q931 slash network message intermixed. The call is originating from the switch where the trace was taken and goes out to some other switch, possibly an end office LEC, who terminates the call. The first line format is time D channel transmitted received LAPD ISDN message ID. If the message is an ISDN level message, then a decoding of the message is attempted showing the various information elements that make up the message. All ISDN messages are tagged with an ID number relative to the switch that started the call. Following this optional decoding is a dump of the bytes of the message in offset hex. Hex ASCII. ASCII format. The ARA messages at the beginning prior to the call are the keep alive messages. Setup message indicate the start of the call. Each message is acknowledged by the other side with a R. 104947.332124RRR00002010105. 104947.342124TRR00002010105B9. 105017.572124RRR 00002010105A5 105017.582124TRR 00002010105B9 105024.372124T setup call reference 00062 local bearer capability CCITT speech circuit mode 64kbits channel ID implicit interface ID implies current span 215 Exclusive, calling party number, 8018023000 national number user provided, not screen presentation allowed, called party number 3739120 type, SUBS CRB, 000001A4B8080200300305, 010A983856C0C2180303030313032303032 L. 0.8018023000.0020307008C133373393930 P3739120. 105024.372124 RRR 0000001A6 105024.772124 A6 call proceeding 
Cool reference 00062 local, channel ID implicit interface ID implies current span, 215, exclusive, 00002018A6080283E02803A983085. 1050 24.77212124 TRR, 0000201 bar. 1050 25.02124 R alerting, call reference 00062 local, progress indicator CCITT, public network serving local user, in band information or an appropriate pattern is now available. 0000201 bar A6080283 E011 E02828. 1050 25.02212124 TRR, 0000 February 1, 2001 BC. 1050 28.43212124 A Connect, Call Reference 00062 Local, 0000 2001 BC A6080283 E07. 1050 28.43212124 TRR, 00002101B. 1050 28.43212124 T Connect ACK, Call Reference 00062 Local, 00001A6B0802003E0F. 1050 28.442124 RRR, 00001A8. 1050 35.692124 T disconnect, call reference 00062 local, cause 16, normal call clearing. 00001A8B0802003E450082890E. 1050 35.702124RRR, 00001R. 1050 36.982124R release, Call reference 00062 local, 0000201B or 0802283E4D, M. 1050 36.982124TRR, 00002101CO. 1050 36.992124T release complete, call reference 00062 local, 00001 or CO0802003E5A,Z. 1050 36.002124 RRR, 00001 AC. 1050106.102124 RRR, 00February 1, 2001 AD. 1050106.102124 TRR, 00002101 C1. 1050136.372124 RRR, 000 February 1, 2001 AD. 1050136.372124 TRR, 0000201 C1. See also, Protocols, ISDN User Part, DSS1, DSS2, ETS300 Specification at ETSI, NI1, NI2, 4 ESS, INS and ET64-1500, DACS used in the UK by British Telecom it uses non-standard D-channel signaling for pair gain, QSIG, Remote Operation Service Element Protocol, Q931, FTZ1 TS6, TS013-TS014, VN2BN4, Specifications Defining the Physical Layer and Part of the Data Link Layers of ISDN, ISDN BRI, ITUTI430. ISDN PRI, ITUTI 431. From the point of view of the OSI architecture, an ISDN line has a stack of three protocols, physical layer, data link layer, network layer, other, CAPI, ADSL, ATM, BISDN, Internet, H320, ETSI, list of device bandwidths, notes. References. External links. Published recommendations available in English, French and Spanish, at UA. Fine, ISDN, Harvarder. B. Ralph, Eastner. ISDN, Robley.